Good evening, people. Watch I'm at 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture, and it coincides with what's coming. A lot of people have asked me about these banks, and I think Chris from Global Rapture Watchers did something on the banks uh, yesterday. Let me give you this verse of scripture. It happens to be out of Revelation 6, 6. I don't know whether anybody has put that together, but that's where it's out of. Revelation 6, 6. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. In other words, for the rich, or those who have taken the mark of the beast. Revelation 6.6, 6. I had to look at that and I'm like, wow, could that be a coincidence? Please, no. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready, which folks, <laughs> is imminent. The rapture is imminent. It's going to happen at any time. And sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, speak to you lead you, guide you, minister to you, all of that. The Holy Spirit will change you. That's what he does. If he can do it for me, he can do it for you. So, uh, so this article came out. And like I said, a lot of people have been asking me about the banks. Um saying that um, some of the banks have closed. Uh, so, and it says here, why are big banks suddenly rushing to shut down in so many local branches all over the nation? It says that um, U.S. banks are currently sitting on hundreds of billions of dollars in unrealized losses. When financial institutions get into trouble, they, they start getting really tight with their money. And they start cutting costs. In addition to laying off workers, banks have been cutting costs by permanently closing local branches. Now, there have been several citizens banks that have closed here. PNCs have closed. Um, J.P. Morgan Chase closed a few branches here. Uh, for example, it says between November 12th and the 18th, the six largest banks in the U.S. initiated filings to close 19 local branches. So America's six largest bank, PNC, has confirmed the closure of 19 more branches nationwide following a staggering 203 branch closures earlier this year. The decision aligning with banks shift towards digital banking and is raising concerns among consumers who prefer traditional banking measures. Now, let me stop right there and say this. And Chris has said this also. Notice I read that chapter, that verse and chapter of Scripture. Nothing is going to happen until the rapture. I, I'm, I'm just saying, we're seeing, I, I've said this before, we're seeing a precursor to what's going on right now and this is exactly what's going to happen after the rapture notice that verse in scripture was in revelation 6 6. well revelation 3 10 tells us that we're gone 
before all of this stuff hits the planet. And I mean global planet. This is just the beginning here. So the church has got to be gone soon. Sooner than what we think. It says, however, several branches in other states, including Illinois, Texas, Alabama, New Jersey, Ohio, Florida, and Indiana, will also be shutting their doors, leaving customers in these regions with limited access to in-person banking. Uh, and this is for PNC. So, of course, PNC has lots of companies. During that exact same week, several other prominent banks made similar moves. So, J.P. Morgan closed um, uh, 18, I mean, closely with 18 filings, three in Ohio, two each in Connecticut and South Carolina, and one each in 11 states, including New York, Illinois, Florida, and Massachusetts. Now, let me just say something else right here. A lot of the, and I'm, I'm, I can see this. A lot of these branches that are closing here in Ohio, they're not doing good in the area that they're in. Simple as that. They're just taking their losses and closing. I see where some of these places are in Ohio. Citizens Bank came in third with eight branch closings, six in New York, one in Massachusetts and Delaware. Minneapolis-based U.S. Bank filed for seven closures, three in Tennessee, one each in Missouri, Wisconsin, Ohio, and Illinois. Now, keep in mind, and this is another thing that people are writing me about, the whole bank system is not going to close. I don't care what you've heard in the past. It'll happen after the rapture, but the whole banking system is not going to close. Someone's writing me saying, I heard the Citizens Bank closed. And I'm like, no, it did not. Some of the branches in the areas in different states closed. The whole bank did not close. Okay? No. Citibank filed uh, for two branch closures. Sterling, Brimmer, First National Bank of Hughes Spring, Windsor, uh, Federal Savings and uh, Loan, and Aerostock County made one uh, filing each. Altogether, banks filed to shut down 64 branches. Read that last uh, sentence again. In just one week, U.S. banks decided to shut down a total of 64 branches. Again, what we're seeing is a precursor to what's coming in the tribulation. That's what's happening right now. If you're a born-again believer in Christ, don't panic. In other words, if you're a born-again believer in Christ, then you know what's coming next, the rapture. I just read a verse out of Revelation 6.6. 6. And I also told you in Revelation 3.10, which if I can do my math correctly, that's before Revelation 6.6. 6. We're gone. I'm just making a statement here. If you're, again, if you are a born again believer in Christ, don't get your panties all up in a twist. All of the banks are not closing. Some of them are, all of them are not. This is stunning. And what we are witnessing right now is a tsunami of branch closures. Unfortunately, even more is coming. Now, this is from Michael Schneider, who, again, I had mentioned him before. I really don't think he's a pre-tribulation person at all. He might be, um, he might know a little bit, but he is not a pre-trib person at all. I've read his stuff and it's like, okay. Prices for new homes are falling as well. So the median price for a single family, for new single family houses sold in October, 
fell by 3.1% from September to 409,300 red line, the lowest since August 21st, down by 17.6% from a year ago, which had been the peak according to data from the Census Bureau. The three-month moving average is down by nearly 12% of its peak in December. These are contract prices and do not include the cost of mortgage rate buy-downs and other incentives such as free upgrades, but they do reflect the lower price points due to smaller footprints and the de um, amortizing Meanwhile, the commercial real estate crisis continues to intensify. So the driver of the increase was the office sector, which had a 261% uh, increase in delinquencies volumes over 10 month period. Needless to say, it's just not US bank that are in trouble. It's just not US banks that are in trouble. Major banks all over the globe are getting hit hard, including Metro Bank in the UK. Metro Bank shareholders have backed a multi-million pound rescue deal aimed at securing the bank's future. So again, what we're looking at as born-again believers, let me just, again, put this in print, okay, in black and white. We're looking at a precursor to what's coming in the Great Tribulation. Now, I've had a lot of people write me about dreams that they have. I, I talked to Kim Fisher. She texts me all the time about dreams. And funny that those dreams are part of the news that I give. So God just don't give you a dream and a vision. I could see if it was one or two people. But this is a lot of people, including myself. These dreams, God is trying to tell us what's going to happen. I've had a few tribulation dreams. I've had several dreams about China. Chris has had dreams all over the map. God is not just going to give you these dreams without telling you what's coming. This is what we're saying. The Bible says, Paul says in his word, don't be ignorant. We as born again believers, we who are, especially we who are looking for Christ, we know what's about to happen. And we're not moved. That's why I, I took my time in doing this bank thing. I, I mean, I'm not moved by it. Everything, folks, is in place for the great tribulation. So if we're this close to the great tribulation, how much closer are we to the rapture? This is all supposed to happen. That's why the pages of the Bible are coming out in 3D, 4D, whatever you want to call it. And I do believe the rapture is soon. And I do believe that it is sooner than what we think or what we can even imagine. It's just there. It's imminent. And God is trying to show people this. That's why he's giving us these dreams. And that's why we're telling you what these dreams are, especially Chris. Chris does it all the time. He's supposed to. We talk on the phone all the time. Kim and I text each other. These dreams are not just, they're not just there. God is trying to talk to us and tell us what's coming. I'm going to link this in the description box. If anything else comes up, um, I really haven't heard too much about Israel. Not too much. Uh,
But if anything else comes up, I will be back on and give it to you. Promise. Thank you.